What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I know you guys are used to three videos a week, but it's been a little bit hectic the last couple months. We're getting back to it. I want you guys to know before we get into this, we're going to be in LA for almost a full week. We leave on Wednesday this week and we come home Sunday. You guys know SneakerCon LA is a two day event, so we will be there Saturday and Sunday and we will not be coming empty handed. Bean, follow me over here. Yeah, what we got? We're going to be bringing some of the common hype Paisley tees. So we're going to have the white and black, the white and blue, and the white and red. We're also going to be bringing cherry blossom tees. And for those of you who can make it out, we have a very, very small restock of the Paisley shorts. We found some extra couple of pairs lying around, so we're gonna be bringing those to you. There's really only like 15 pairs, so if you guys can get them on the first day, uh, make sure to swing by the booth. We won't be at our traditional big booth, we'll be at um, two smaller tables because we'll be selling some shoes this time. So it's gonna be a great event. We're even gonna have Johnson out there, but I want you guys to know, LA is gonna be crazy. And then on top of that, we're gonna be there from Wednesday, like I mentioned, till Sunday. But we're gonna be getting tons of footage out there for you guys to have some videos fired up ready for you guys in the coming week so it's gonna be pretty crazy if you guys are not subscribed make sure you subscribe turn on the post notifications and being they can comment down below because they can win themselves 25 free bucks just and, by dropping a and comment Steven will say what's up and steven will answer it just for you we're gonna nail out a couple unboxings real quick and then by the title of this video uh brandon and tommy are going to explain that situation very chill relaxed vibes on the video today because we're gonna be going absolutely crazy in la i gotta make sure i meditate a little find peace within take it easy before we go out there wow appreciate it been watching the videos for a while now they're very informative and entertaining thanks land and soul looks like you got a pair of new balances right here you know me and bean we love the 550. <laughs> yeah. someone played kickball at the box yeah they did That's not a nice. bad colorway right there yeah. what is this size 11. they because... made a lot more colorways than i thought yeah dude i like just i'll go to shows and i'll see a bunch of random ones too yeah. that one's a size 11 if you guys need a pair of 550s i will say and this is not a paid advertisement. That's one of the most comfortable shoes yeah. I've ever worn in my life. I just picked up the 650 ALDs. That's why I was asking you. Wow. Can't ever go wrong with the neutral gray. Size 12. And you guys can shop those again. CommonHypeAZ.com. Thank you very much. Layton. I said Landon. Layton. Appreciate it. We're going to get those legit checked. And we'll get it into the system for you guys. Next box right here. UPS hasn't came today, huh? Oh, he's gonna, they're going to have a dark day. Yeah. We might be back for more unboxings <laughs> in a minute. Because these are just from what was left on the weekend. Uh, I'm not going to take this out. It's a black and white dunk. You guys have seen them a thousand times. But we will make sure to get those checked. And last box right here. Looks like we got a couple pairs in here. A pair of dunks. It looks like a pair of fours. Also, I don't want to hear about the outfit today, all right? I just went to the gym. I didn't come out stepping. Wow. Yeah, we're all here. Ooh. I like those. These are so fire. What are these called? Damn it. Are they like... Fuck. Cool. Two-tone blue? It looked like a two-tone. Yeah, it is basically a two-tone. Damn, marina blue. There you go. Wait, there those is. are the ones. In my defense, I sit behind Marina. It. Marina, those are the marina. It is marina. They are? Okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't know they used the same you for one. Yeah, yeah, that myself. one's on me. And no one wow, me. and that would look great with a common hype blue paisa t-shirt. Yeah. I'll sure say it. I might got it on. This is a size 12 for anyone looking. One more right here. A pair of Red Thunder 4s, brand new, size 11. You guys can shop these. And we also have these in grade school. Basically every size of these online. If you guys need them, we got them. And it's funny because we posted the video on the military blacks. And we had 23 pairs. You guys saw them on the counter. Sold out. And in what a couple days uh yeah two yeah to be exact and we had them at a fair price i mean pre-market's 380 ish yeah. i mean it was almost a four inch dollar shoe we sold them for 425 in store and Easy. we moved every size so yeah that was a pretty good little investment there brandon doesn't like buying stuff early but sometimes it pays off we're gonna get some stuff done around the store we're gonna cut to the next clips and then hopefully at the end we'll have some more boxes for you guys to wrap it up we are shipping out today's drop this was the cherry blossom the tees the cherry blossom shorts the shooting star black shorts and the infrared green and red shorts as well as you guys can see this is our setup it's not really <laughs> efficient or you ideal you guys are about to play a board game <laughs> yeah like a little game of chess deep game of chess yeah and i'm Smoke asian your ass in chess. i'm asian dude no he's in chess club so was that really yeah Let's get after it. One of these days we'll play some chess. Right. Anyways, uh, we have some new packaging going on. So we got some new black shipping bags, which I think are really sleek. We have custom stickers for each uh, drop. So this is the cherry blossom drop. So we got common have cherry blossom stickers. We've got custom thank you cards going in each order. And then these are just some leftover pays of stickers that we have from last drop. We also have custom bags as well. Went with the essentials vibe a little bit. I'm um, still trying to perfect this. This is not going to be our final bag that we use for every single product going forward. But this, we fold this tee into the bag. Um, unfortunately, there's only one size and you can't put the whole thing in there. So you got to fold it. So still some technical difficulties 
that we're working out, but uh, the customer experience is something that we pride ourselves on and make sure that we do our to the best of our abilities. Now we do gotta get a new email team because we've been flooded with emails lately, but just making sure that you guys get the product in hand as soon as possible and hopefully shipping the same day, that's really our goal. Yeah, the drop the was what, in the two hours ago? Drop was two hours ago. So the expectation for the customer is like, okay, I ordered it, now I really wanna get it quick. And that's what we wanna fulfill on. It's so hard to consistently do good business in terms of like, making this experience good for you guys. It's the most difficult thing that we have been faced with as a company and it, we're trying to figure out the kinks and, and how we can make the customer experience just so smooth for you guys that you guys don't have to email anything that's wrong about your order, um, et, cetera, et cetera. So we're really figuring that out and as a small business, that's that's really our most difficult aspect of things, but obviously big companies face it as well. So um, hopefully we can look back on this clip when we do have a fulfillment center, possibly in the future that outsource all this too and they can ship it out for you guys and handle everything. But until now- I think in the middle of the fulfillment center, it should be like a little museum of this table. Just this, a statue. Yeah. Just a, a statue? <laughs> a, cutout, a cutout of Brandon yeah. and Steve right yeah. here. Just I a like statue that. to commemorate the times where we were doing this by ourselves. And let me tell you, by putting the t-shirts yeah. and the shorts in this bag, it's just, it's literally adding another 30 seconds to a minute to the packaging process, which is just... And what, there's 300 plus orders? I think 400, 500 plus. Um, I think the website peaked this morning at like 700 sessions uh, at once at the same time. And there was just orders coming in. People were checking out. So thank you guys for all the support. But this is kind of what happens on the back end. When you place your order, this is what happens. So we really like to try and get these orders out as soon as possible. Sometimes USPS and UPS forget to come by, which stinks, because that just puts you guys a day later from receiving your item. Hey, but so, the new store, right by UPS. Right, but the new store, we can literally grab our little truck thingy and just roll, I don't know what they're called, but the yeah. roller, and just roll it right into UPS and be like, here you go, guys, yeah. here's at it. And we'll make sure to treat them well. And by that, he means he'll have Steven do that. Yes, not him. You, you had to come out today, though, just to, just to know what the grind is like. No, yeah, so we're, that when we're not doing it. But yeah, it just goes to show Bryson's behind the camera right now, but he's also doing the same yeah. thing yeah. back there. Drew we're not afraid of the you know hard what? work. Bryson, yeah, Bryson, why don't you go to sit down? Huh? Bryson, Drew called Bryson Thomas the train because he's just chugging all. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go pack someone's order right now. I need to pick somewhere. I did them all while you were gone. Yeah, you did. Because I'm the little Thomas the train. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just want to say thank you to Jesus. Uh, hey, shout out to Jesus. What'd he from, get? Uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Some cherry blossom shorts. Wow, he was early. He must be on the text message club. Drew. And if you guys want, you guys can join the text message club. You in the link down below or if you go to our website you'll see that big pop-up it's 100 percent free you get early access i know a lot of people complain hey, hey i think yes. we just got a text right there yep oh my god let me read it real quick all right let me throw it away oh. perfect i know you guys a lot of you guys complained about it that you guys weren't able to get stuff in during this drop and you guys have to understand we do give vip club early access with the text and email so you guys got to make sure you sign up for that and we're still ordering smaller quantities they're not ordering hundreds of these so they're not selling out like immediately like that like the small cherry blossoms i think 10 sold out within three, four minutes. Still trying to figure out how much to order for certain sizes and stuff. So bear with us. We want everybody to get a chance to get them. And maybe, just maybe, there'll be a restock. Wow. I said maybe. Though. Yeah. Should we shout out the person? Yeah. All right, Timothy from uh, Soldad, California. Wow. I don't know if that's a real city. It seems a little sketchy. You got a large cherry blossom. Your dad's in California, right? Yeah, I think so. Bang. I'll throw it right here for Bri. Wow. I'll switch over. Wow. All right, so this is the packing slip. This shows us what the item is. Once we confirm it's the right thing, boom, in the trash, we just do that so that we can make sure that you guys are getting the right product and we don't get hit with an email in 15 minutes saying that they gave us the wrong thing. So we just, like Brandon said, you got to fold it up a little bit. Once it's in there, it expands right out. There's your nice little thing. Common Hype sticker. Thank you card. Because wow. we're so thankful for you. Throw that in there. You zip it up. So when you pull it out of your bag, I mean, that just looks pretty nice, Drew. It just looks pretty nice. That would make a smile on my face, bro. Listen, Drew likes to do this upside down. Not, <laughs> not a big guy. Not a big guy on that. After that, you just throw it in here. Seal it. Sometimes I like to give a little kiss. Make yeah. sure it's, you know, you guys know it was sent with love. Flip it over. Take your pack and slip. Slapped on. And Timothy, your order. Is in route, baby. Shipped. And we've been doing that all day. We're going to continue to do that. Again, we just wanted to get a little clip. Honestly, more to look back on. I know you guys might think this is boring or some of you guys might think it's cool, but um, at some point, we're going to have entire center dedicated to this. So we'll look back on this. You just spoke it into existence. You just spoke it into existence. Quote me on this, all right? Yeah. Okay, so recently we had something happen. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you would know that uh, we just got an online order. You know that by following us on Instagram. No, we posted something about how we had a potential thief come in who tried grabbing uh, a Chrome Hearts tee in store 
and uh, I kind of just wanted to address that because there was a bunch of comments and, and some things that had happened that we want to kind of clarify as well as Tommy for his side of the explanation on it because he got a lot of messages you know just people were just worried about him but before he says that I just want to let you guys know our employee safety is the number one thing that we care about we don't care about this chrome hearts tea i don't care about a pair of shoes like it's our employee safety the fact that this kind of stuff happens stinks and obviously we're in a really good part of tempe but it doesn't matter you could have a really bad person try to come in and do something like this my employees to be put in this position like that doesn't make myself comfortable i know it doesn't make them comfortable so there's certain procedures that we need to need to put in place for for things that happen for stuff when this happens because it's the first time that we've caught somebody could have been some people we haven't caught. People could maybe. have got us in the past. We might not yeah. know about yeah. it. Yeah, but. Uh, but according to inventory, they haven't. So yeah, I just want to say that's our number one priority. And going forward, we're going to have different measures. Yeah, roll the clip real quick. Yeah. I was sitting back here working on the computer. I saw him right here, and I, I, I knew the guy. I knew when he walked in, I we had seen that customer before. He came in tons of times. I mean, he always was looking at clothes, and I think he's bought some shoes from us in the past. Standing up doing something, and I just caught him like putting it in his pants, and you'll see, you saw it on the clip. I was like, no way, he just did that. And so the only reason I felt comfortable approaching him was because I'd seen him before. I knew who he was, I knew his face. He's purchasing stuff he's, in the shop. Yeah, I, I don't remember his name, or else it'd be a lot easier case here. We could probably go. Right you know, let someone know. But yeah, I just felt comfortable because I'd seen him before. Every scenario is different. If if I didn't know that guy, I didn't know what he was about or anything, I probably wouldn't have approached him. And I probably would have taken a different approach of trying to maybe catching his license plate as he drove away or getting information like that. But I just want everyone to know that I only did it because I felt comfortable approaching the guy, but normally you would not want to approach that guy because you don't know what they're willing to do. Um, even that guy, I mean, I wouldn't say, hey, Bennett, go, go stop that guy because I felt comfortable with him. You know what I mean? That's not fair to Bennett and that puts him in an unsafe situation. So I handled it myself. In the future, it'd probably be different. It was a weird event. Um, it's never happened here at Common Hype before. So it's a good learning experience. Don't steal from Common Hype, um, but in the future to play it by year, you know? I don't know, maybe we get some tags. Maybe we, you know, do something in the new store. We're gonna have everything situated differently to where they have to literally walk right by us in order to get out of the store. Yeah. So um, there's definitely things that we could have done differently. Um, in, in the video, you can see how Bennett was kind of up and he, I think he was restocking some shirts for the floor, so he was kind of going in and out of the back. He probably felt comfortable with that customer as well because he'd seen him before as well. So yeah, it was just a really bad situation, but good thing, you know, no one got hurt. We have the really expensive t-shirt yeah, that could have left the building. Dude has not washed yeah. his balls in three yeah. weeks. So, so he not only put it in his pants, but he, I think he works construction or something. He has a, he had like a neon vest yeah. on, and so when he grabbed it, his hands were dirty, and it, it kind of ruined the tea a little bit. Now we could dry clean this, and it basically be brand new again. But what we are going to do is we are going to give this away. Now this is a four hundred fifty dollar tea that we sell in store for, so we're going to take a loss on that. But I believe in good karma, and if somebody else can get it, that would be my hope for it. So uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be selling this uh, on our website or anything. We're going to pull it from our inventory, and we are going to give it away to somebody on our Instagram. By the time you guys are seeing this, this may have happened, this may not have, so just pay attention, follow us on Instagram. Again, I believe in good karma. I, w I really hope this doesn't happen again, and it, I'm more glad that everybody walked away safely, including the guy who tried to steal. Yeah. It's just for everybody's safety and for everybody's sake, I'm, I'm glad everybody walked away. But again, this type of stuff happens in a retail environment. You don't see this a lot because it only happens at like bigger stores like PacSun and everything, and they deal with it internally. But as a small business, we're learning a lot of things as we go. Yeah. And this is one of those situations. So glad you're okay. Sorry that that happened while you guys were in store, but um, yeah, huge learning curve. 
So just to let you guys know what happened. We haven't found the guy yet. We don't know his name. We're trying to find some more information on that. Everybody walked away safely. That's the most important part. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't lying to you. Five seconds after we finished filming, uh, UPS man walked in. So these, I think, are all the pairs from Kobe Swap Meet. I'm gonna double check real quick, but it should be. Yeah, so these are all the Kobe Swap Meet pairs. If you guys wanna know what we bought there and what's in these boxes, just go watch the video because that's everything we bought. We got some new packages as well. Thank you for cashing me out. You're so welcome. <laughs> I don't know your name. Maybe we'll find it in here. One of Mr. Brandon's favorite shoes ever right here. The light smoke gray. Can not ever go wrong. This is a size seven. If you're watching with your lady right now, Hit the website, all right? You know she's nudging your shoulder. You know she hey, you, you see those? You see those? With one of those. And we babe. got another one, also a size seven. Maybe she's got a sister. She said, babe, come yeah. on these. I don't know. Appreciate the deal though. We're gonna make sure those get checked and in the system. If we find any like cooler, older shoes in here that there's not too much legit check information on, we can maybe run a little segment. Another PO. Uh, looks like we got some pairs of fours from Mondo. Thanks for getting them here safely. No question about it. Size nine and a half, white Oreo Jordan 4. You guys know I made the comparison between these and the military blacks in the video the other day. Let me know what you guys think. Are you rocking white Oreos or military black? Military black. What about you? No, I, I need a personal. I know. Dude. So don't worry. I think military black can be my first four. Really? God, Tommy and fours, absolute menace. Um, I think these are more Kobe pairs. Just some neutral grays, other stuff like that. We bought a 15 clip. I totally forgot to put that clip in the video, but we did buy 15 pairs of neutral grays at Kobe Swap Meet. So if you guys need a new pair, we probably got your size in that deal. Except Johnson, he took all the 11s. All right, looks like we got a couple pairs of Dunks right here. Overseas pairs, maybe. We got some court purples. I think it's a great shoe. I know Dunks are kind of up and down right now, but overall, just the colorway. I think they did good with the white lace, simple colorway. But yeah, we've been buying these up since early pairs. It's good since shoe. The sun's to make it yeah don't talk about it's no that. longer an investment that's, call. that's pain i don't really sports bet but i was with johnson and uh brandon the other day night the other day yesterday and they're like yeah we're gonna each put 100 on it you want to throw in 100 make it three and i was like honestly like i don't know if i got the suns like that and then they just you know gave me a little crap i was like fine i'll do it so anyway <laughs> shop on hypezy.com because i lost 100 bucks yesterday and we need to make it back all right again you guys can see all these at kobe's and our video that we already posted but that's gonna close it out for today's video thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for all the footage we get in la i'm gonna try and push for one more video um, to get out post around thursday because we're gonna be posting pretty early next week so just stay tuned make sure you guys subscribe turn on those notifications and we'll see you in the next video